For this assignment, you'll be reading the Scarlet Ibis. Uh, Scarlet Ibis, if you go to page 109 in the literature book, that's where you'll find the story. The Scarlet Ibis is the bird that you see on the first page there. In ancient Egypt, one of the gods is a, a bird that has the big long hook beak. That's a Scarlet Ibis. Uh, this is a story about a boy who had a little brother that was born who was physically disabled and they named him, his nickname was Doodle because uh, he crawls around like a doodle bug. This was written in the South, uh, about the South anyways, back in World War I time period, um, excuse me, World War II, and the, the times are a little bit different. So this boy, the, the older brother is six years old when Doodle is born and Doodle, they don't think is gonna live very long he ends up being able to live and eventually they, he and his brother are playing together and they create a little cart that he pulls around on. He takes him to the swamp where they like to play together uh, and, and his, the older brother eventually teaches the younger brother how to walk. But the truth is, no matter how much, how hard they work or what they do, the younger brother is not physically capable of becoming just a regular, normal person. And, and in the end, it leads to tragedy. So as you're reading along in this story, pay attention to the characters of the story. And in this case, the characters aren't only people. The swamp, they call her Old Woman Swamp, is where they like to go play, is almost a character all on its own. And you get to know Old Woman Swamp. Uh, think about some of the conflicts that the main character has. Yes, he wants his younger brother to be normal so that he can do all of the things that all the other boys do, but his motives aren't necessarily great motives. He wants his younger brother to be normal because he doesn't want to be ashamed of him. And he admits that to himself as he, as he relays this, this story to us. Uh, think about Doodle and what his motivations are and why he works so hard and what he's trying to do because uh, ultimately I think he just wants his brother to love him and be proud of him, right? In the end, uh, you'll, you're going to come to the end of the story, and this one is very heartwarming, uh, very touching story, and I think it's something that we can relate with. Now, forewarning, the culture was different in those days compared to ours. So there's a part in here where he finds out that his little brother that was just born is an invalid, meaning that he can't physically do anything. And he was also worried uh, that he was mentally not all there. And so he begins thinking of ways to kill his little brother. We hear those words and we automatically panic and go, oh my gosh, that's creepy. But if you have siblings, you know that you've thought at some time, man, my life would be so much better if my brother weren't there to beat me up or make fun of me or blah, 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 blah. That's all he's talking about. So don't get overly sensitive when he says, I began to think of ways to kill my brother. It's not a big, dark, devious, he's a murderer. He's a regular kid who doesn't understand the implications of life and death and just thinks that his life would be better and easier if he didn't have a brother that was physically disabled. That's all that we're talking about, right? Once you finish reading the story, have a good cry, work it out, and then uh, move on to the project piece. I want you to imagine a different ending for the story where Doodle and, and his older brother remain close and grow up to be older uh, adults and and everything goes well, right? Uh, I want you to imagine that it's been years since they've seen each other. Since the end of this story, we're gonna say that it just ends differently, so they're both, they both move on uh, with their lives. And it's been years since they've seen each other, and the main character receives a postcard from his brother, Doodle. Uh, Doodle has a right to feel hurt he's got a right to feel angry maybe he has grown up and he's matured and he totally forgives his older brother maybe he still wants his older brother's approval I don't know use your imagination that's up to you but the older brother receives a postcard from doodle I want you to create the postcard so you're gonna get a full-size piece of 
paper. Uh, you can come get one from me when you get to this, this project, or regular white paper. Create a postcard. So on one side of it, you're going to have North Carolina. That's where this took place. And you're, you've seen postcards. They have uh, welcome to North Carolina. And it has some, some scenes um, painted on there, drawn on the postcard. And then when you flip it over, you have the postcard, the letter from Doodle. So you're going to write the letter as if you're Doodle writing to your brother for the first time in years since you've seen each other. Okay? Let your imagination dictate where this is going to go. Uh, and do your best on this project. We'll hang these up in the hallway so people can see them. Uh, so just think about what would Doodle say, what would Doodle think, and what would it mean for him to write a postcard to his brother. Uh, it's probably going to take you maybe a class period and a half to read the story and probably another full class period to create the postcard. I want you to do your best work on it. It's not an art class, so I'm not grading you based on how good your art is on the postcard, but I'm certainly looking at how you write. Not, not, not how well you spell or anything, but I'm looking at the quality of thought that you put into this project. Are you really thinking the way that Doodle would think, and are you really writing as if you were Doodle? That's what I'm looking for. When you finish, turn that in to me. Uh, just in your name tag, and that will be great. I can't wait to see what you come up with.